Okay, so for this project, you're going to need napkins. I have white napkins here. And then black and white craft paper, scissors, a pencil, something to write with, and glue. Now you can do this project with just regular glue, or if you have a glue gun, that's um, great too. But you certainly don't need a glue gun for this. And that's it, really easy. Let's get started. Hello, welcome to Lemony Crafts. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable little sheep made out of napkins. So I made a little family here. So I have the bigger sheep and then you can also make these little ones. Look how cute these are. And they're so easy to make. So we'll get started. I'm going to show you how to make the bigger one, but if you want to make a smaller one, you just cut the tissue a little bit uh, smaller. So for the bigger one, I'm using three napkins. So these napkins are just uh, one ply napkins. So I'm using three of them. But if your napkins have two ply, then I guess you could do with just two napkins. Okay, so I'm using my three napkins here. So you just put them over each other and then just arrange this here. Okay. And then you start like that. And then you start folding them. You just start at the bottom about this much. and then fold it back and then fold again. And you just do that with the whole napkin. Okay, there we go. So now it looks like this. So now we're just going to fold this just like that squeeze it together at the bottom here and then you're going to need a piece of string and we're going to tie this Now, don't make the knot too tight. You'll see after, because if you make the knot too tight here and you really squeeze the tissue together, it's gonna be uh, more difficult to separate after. So just like tie them just loosely like that. I'm just going to make these a bit shorter. Okay, so now we're just going to Cut the ends here off a little bit. Not much, just want to trim it. Maybe give it like a bit of a round shape. Okay, so now you open this up. Okay. All right. And you start separating the tissues. You just start separating the plies here. Just gently pull like this. You don't want to rip the tissue. Oh, I grabbed two here. No problem. There we go. Just gently separate it and then the next and then you just do that with all the plies.
Okay, so that's one side done. So that was super quick. And then you would do the same thing with the other side as well. So to make one sheep, you will need two of these. So I already have two made here. Okay, so these are for the, uh, the bigger sheep. Okay, so you have your two pieces here. I'm just gonna cut this one shorter. All right. And now we're going to glue them together. So I have a hot glue gun here, but you could just use regular glue for it. I like using the hot glue just because it's quicker. You don't have to wait that long for it to dry. And then, just bring those two pieces together. There, we'll just push it together and we'll just let it dry. Okay. All right, so now we're going to make the rest of the sheep. So we need the face and then we're also going, going to make the, um, the little legs. So I already cut the parts out here. Um, so for this, you can just use regular craft paper. Um, I'm using craft pa uh, black craft paper here and then white craft paper for the eyes and the mouth. But basically you can just uh, draw these freehand. I'm just gonna trace this one here if you want them both to be if you have two and you want them both to be the same. But I just drew these up myself. And you can have fun with this. Just, uh, just draw your own creation. Do a really good job there. Okay. So, and then you would just uh, cut that out so you have your other one. All right, so I'm just gonna finish putting together the face on this one. Okay, so I got the two eyes here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue. Putting the wrong side up there. And then this one. And then it looks a little scary <laughs> without the, the black on the eye. They're much better. Again, you can have fun with this. You can give them different expressions, whatever you like. And I also cut out a little mouth. Now I've seen these done without uh, the mouth, but and it will still look cute just like that. But I like adding the mouth because it gives them more character and it looks like they're smiling. So. There, now you would just let that dry. Now I'm going to show you how to make the legs. Okay, so now we're going to make the legs. So for this, you'll just need a piece of craft paper. Um, doesn't really matter whether it's square or not. I'm just gonna use this one that you traced. On. Okay, and then you just need something round like this. I don't know, you could use like a, a chopstick or something, but anything. I think I got this from a flower. Um, okay, and then you just roll 
one thing for that. Now, it's a little tricky at first, but once you get it, it's easy. Okay, we'll just roll. And then just put some regular glue. For this part, I like using just regular glue, not the hot glue. And just oops, like this. Just move it out nicely. Okay, and then you just pull out the stick. Okay, this one's a little long. I'm just going to cut it in half. And I have two other legs pretty neat here. Okay, so I'm just going to attach the legs to this one here. So and, and I guess it doesn't really matter where you put them, but I could just put them for the head. So for this, I am using the hot glue. Just put them on the stick there. First one's easy, you just put it anywhere really. Hold it down. Okay, now you gotta kind of figure out how your shape's going to stand. So we'll put one on this side now. So I guess this will be its front legs like that. So easy. Okay, so there's your legs. I think this one's a little longer. This one off. And this one. Okay, it's a little hard to see in the camera, but it's standing now. And now we're just going to attach this adorable face. So this is very easy gonna use the regular glue just put a little bit I just put a little bit at the top and then I kind of pick where I want to put it right down kind of in the middle so I just grab one or two of the ply and then I just attach my face to it. And then you just fluff it up. So easy. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.